Hi guys and welcome to BookNote application demo. We are going to build this application step by step on the upcoming parts. This is an Angular 4 application and the current stable version of Angular is 4.3, but I'm going to update the application for the upcoming stable versions of Angular. With Angular we are going to use TypeScript and to design we are going to use Material Design. And we are going to store the data in a Firebase database, which is a real-time cloud database. As you see in here, we have implemented authentication. And for that, we are going to use the Firebase authentication. But I'm going to teach you how to implement it using Auth0 as well. So let us log in. And to log in, you need to use your Google account. This application is used to store notes about the books that you have read, or you could even use it to store the books that you plan to read. On the home page, we have two sections. The first section is the my top rated books, which are based on the rating that we provide for the book after we have read it. And the second section is used to show the books that we have registered, but we have not read them yet. The second tab for this application is the books tab. And on this view, you are going to see all the books that we have inside this application. And the last one is the add book option. And on this view, we have a form which we are going to use to create new books. So let's go back to the books view. And here we see that for each book, we have two buttons, the book details button and the edit book button. Let's click the book details. We are going to be redirected to the details page for that book. On this view, we have three more options, the old books, which we are going to be redirected to the all books page, the edit option, which redirects us to the edit view and there we can change the details for this book or the delete button. If I select the delete button, I'm going to be redirected to another view, which is the delete confirmation view. And on this view, we can choose to go back or we could delete the book and the book is going to be deleted from the database as well. So let's delete the book and after you delete the book, you are going to be redirected to the home page and here we don't see our book anymore. And now let us select the second option for this book, which is the edit book option. Once you select the option, you are going to be redirected to the edit book view and on this view, you are going to see all the details for the book. Let us change the rating from 4.9 to 3.9 and save the changes. Once you save the changes, you are going to be redirected to the books view. Let's go to the home page, but we don't see the book in here anymore. We don't see the book in here anymore because on this section, only the books which are top rated, so the rating is greater than 4.0 are going to be shown. So now let's add a new book. For that, go to the add book view. On this view, you are going to see that the create book button is disabled. And that's because we have not filled in all the fields that are required to create a book, the book title, book price, or image URL. I'm going to enter a book, which I read recently, and the book's title is Sell or Be Sold. It's a book by Grant Cardone, and the book price is 9.96. I have added this book at the 1st of August, and I read it just last week. So I'm going to enter in here 25. You see that once you enter the data read, you are going to get two more fields to fill in. The first one is a book description and the second one is a rate. For the book description, I'm just going to paste some text from the book and I'm going to read this book 4.8 since I really liked it. And next you need to paste an image URL and here you are going to see below the URL, you are going to see the title of the book. So once you change the title in here, that value is changed as well. So let's add an image URL and we see a preview from the image. Now create the book. So after you created the book, you are going to be redirected to the books view. And here we can see that our book was added. Because that we rated this book with 4.9, we should expect that this book is included on the top rated books as well. So for that, let's go to the home page, and here you can see that our book belongs to the My Top Rated Books section. Let's add another book, and here I'm going to add a book which I have not read yet. So the book title is Mindset, 
and the author for this book is Carol Dweck. The book price is 11.99 and I'm adding this book today. I'm not going to add a data read because I've not read it yet so we don't see the extra field. Let's paste an image URL. So now here we see the preview from the image and we create the book. The same way after we create the book we are redirected to the books view and on this view we are going to see the book that we just added. Because that we didn't read this book, we should expect that this book belongs to the books that I will read in the future. So for that let's go to the home page and on the home page you are going to see our book. In case there is a delay getting the data from the Firebase database, we are going to show the user a spinner. Now let's go to the details page for a book that we have read and here you see the rate, the data read and the description. But for the book that we have not read, we need to hide these fields because they don't have values. So if we go to the book details for the mindset book, here you will see only the author, the data that the book was added and the price. And on the description section down here, you are going to see no description for this book. And since we are signed in, at the top right of the application, you are going to see the logout button, which we can use to log out from our application. As you see, this is not a complex application, but we are going to build it step by step while we explain all the necessary Angular concepts. So guys, thank you for watching and subscribe to not miss the upcoming parts.